Hello, this is Justin with Green Residential. In this video, we're gonna talk about HVAC tune-ups. Let's get started. So this is a condenser unit. It's part of the HVAC system that is located on the outside of the house. Now this releases heat, but if it was a heat pump, it would be collecting heat depending on the time of the year. As you can see from, at least from this angle, it looks pretty clean. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cover and show you how clean or dirty it is beneath this cover. This is an old wasp's nest, so you're gonna wanna be careful if this is something that you're gonna be doing yourself. Okay, so we remove the cover and these coils are not clean. The condenser looked clean when the cover was on, but once you remove that cover, you can see the mat of dirt and debris that is on these coils. A lot of this looks like pet hair, although there is a lot of dirt and dust that has been pulled in over time. This whole system is designed for air movement. All this dirt, dust, and pet hair hinders that airflow. Now, there may be better ways to do this, but I'm just going to use a soft bristled hand brush and brush this dirt and hair and debris away from these coils. You want to be careful that you don't bend the fins while doing this, but it is essential that all this dirt and debris is removed so this condenser can get the proper airflow. For an AC system, air moves through these coils and cools the Freon. If this airflow is hindered, the Freon does not cool like it should. The system overall will run less efficient. So if you want your AC system to run properly, it's really important that these coils remain clean. I'm using a vacuum with a soft brush to help remove all of this dust and debris. Cleaning a condenser unit is something that many AC technicians do when they do a tune-up. So they may have better methods than what I'm doing here to clean the coils. This is what I have on hand and it works. And my main point here is to show you what a dirty condenser unit looks like. Okay, so I cleaned the coils. I even vacuumed out the inside as much as I could. The inside had a bunch of leaves in it, so I carefully lifted the lid and vacuumed out those leaves. When an AC runs, it pulls the moisture out of the air and converts it into water. That water typically, at least in modern houses, is drained into the house plumbing system. A very common place where you might find that drain line termination point from the AC is above the P-trap, usually in a bathroom sink. Now, what can happen over time is algae can grow inside that drain line, and if it grows enough, it can clog that drain line. You may have noticed in some houses water stains on the ceiling or wet spots on the drywall. The cause of this is many times from a clogged AC drain line or a pan that overflowed. So many times when they tune an AC up, they will clear out this drain line to prevent any buildup that could potentially clog that line. A typical method to clear the line is they blow compressed air down the drain line. The thing about this is you want to be proactive with this. You don't want to wait till a clog actually happens because then you're dealing with drywall repair on top of an AC issue. If you have a gas furnace, an HVAC tune-up may include inspecting and cleaning the flame sensor. The flame sensor is exactly what it sounds like. It's a device that senses when there is a flame on in the furnace which in turn allows the furnace to run. If the furnace was turned on and the flame sensor did not detect any flame, it would cause the furnace to turn off and the gas valve to close. So it's essentially a safety device. So what can happen is that over time, that flame sensor can become dirty with soot and dirt. This can cause the sensor to not work properly which can cause the furnace to short cycle, turn on, then turn off right away, turn back on, turn off right away. And it can even potentially be a cause for carbon monoxide since it's tied in with the gas valve operation. Things like dust being pulled into the AC condenser, that's happening continually. Whenever the AC is being used and that fan is turning, even if it's a heat pump, 
It's pulling in air, pulling in dust. So that accumulation of dust and dirt is happening continually, however you don't see it. Same is true of the drain line. Whenever the AC is in use, that drain line is in use as well, and that algae is building up. You may not see it. So these things are happening while you're not aware of it. So it becomes really important to maintain your system on a regular basis. What you don't want to have happen is your AC goes out in the dead of summer or the furnace stop working in the dead of winter. Those can be stressful situations. And many times it could be a lag time by the time you actually get the unit or the part that's needed for the unit installed. You may go through a time period with no heat or cooling. So it's important that you stay on top of this on a regular basis. The thermostat is another item that's typically inspected during an HVAC tune-up. It'll be checked for proper operation. And of course, there is the filter. That should be checked as well to make sure it's clean, it's the correct size, the correct orientation. This one is a media filter. It's a larger filter. It's about four inches thick, and it's installed inside the actual HVAC unit. These media filters tend to last longer than the normal one inch thick filters. This filter tells you how long it is good for, although that is really going to change from situation to situation. Your household may have filters that last longer than in other households or vice versa. It really depends on the load in the house, how many people, how many pets, etc. What I covered here are just a few of the basic items that are typically done in a tune-up. However, there are other issues that your system may be having, and it is important to have those things inspected. So when you do have an HVAC tune-up, it creates an opportunity for a professional to inspect the entire system. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful, it'd be much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. You know, we put out videos like this on a regular basis. They include simple repairs that many homeowners can do. They also include house knowledge. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day and bye for now.